Hello, everybody. We got Kino Kid already in here. We've got Neil Macedo's in here. We've got PJ. We gotta move this, and but we're gonna be drinking Blanton's in here in just a minute, and. Uh, so, PJ, are you back in Vegas? Uh, back from Vegas, I should say. Hello, everyone. And Kino said he's listening. <laughs> There's Kia Bell. Hi again. Hi, Kia Bell. It's been a big night for the community. We've had two <laughs> premieres. Yep. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And hopefully... Yeah, I know a lot of people aren't interested in uh, Kentucky Derby picks and stuff like that, <laughs> but hey, we're going to try Blanton's and we're going to do some, uh, I'm just going to tell you about Kentucky Derby picks. <laughs> now, I, I wouldn't, cat. one thing I wouldn't do is take my picks and go bet on them. <laughs> Hey, Random Jean. Thanks for coming in. Hey. And Kissy Cat here. Hey, there's Kissy Cat. So cool. And there's Random Jean. And then Kia PJ Bell. said he's back home. So I know he's been a busy man and out there. And so mm -hmm. I got lots of videos. To, I tried to come in on a few of his lives. Uh, got lots of videos to catch but up we on got from him. A lot of videos to catch up on. So that'll be fun to do. And uh, so looking forward to that. And uh, Kissy Cat says, let's do it. Let's do it. So <laughs> a lot of you guys, uh, you know, you may not bet on the horses, but gosh, since I was six or seven years old, my dad would get us on the, the day of the Kentucky Derby. We'd, he'd round us all up and, set us down and we would watch the Kentucky Derby. That was a big event. And it's been a big event for, you know what, since the 1800s, 1883. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, well, it even started before that, 1870s, I think. Hey, the Bears. So thanks for coming in. And Peter said, I bought, I just bought a bottle of Gosling Black seal rum going to be making some dark and stormy Ooh, Ooh. that that sounds pretty daggone good that does sound good <laughs> and the bears said <laughs> he's just stopped in to say hello i can't leave the nfl draft buddy <laughs> but i wanted to give you a quick okay well i didn't even know the nfl draft was going on that tells you and i used to love sports but I don't watch it anymore. He does love the Kentucky Derby. Hey, it's yes. the best, what they say, two minutes in sports. Yep. Most exciting. Yep. <laughs> so. I only bet on the horses once a year. And, you know, there's a, a lot of people that do that. And uh, PJ meant, mentioned with mint juleps, yes, next Thursday we're going to be doing 
mint juleps and maybe some Kentucky mules mm -hmm. and maybe some old fashions just to celebrate the Kentucky Derby. But we've got a couple mint juleps that uh, we're going to try out. Yeah. And uh, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> That'll be the Thursday before the Saturday of the race. And on that one, uh, you know, right now we don't know the post positions. All we know, there's 20 horses. Mm -hmm. I've got a hunch there may be a couple of horses that drop out of that. So we'll we'll just have to see. <laughs> and the bear says he does love the Kentucky Derby. Yeah, I do too. So uh, uh, Kiss Cat said, should I drive to Louisiana and place a bet? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but don't bet on what I'm going to say, what, what I'm missing. You know, Kid said. You won't be wearing this oversized floppy hat and drinking a mint julep for Saturday. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Tina needs, we need to get her a floppy hat this week or so you could wear that to the show. So oh, yeah. anyway, y'all come in on next Thursday. We'll be doing probably about the same time. We're going to be doing our Kentucky Derby special and that's going to be a lot of fun. Mint juleps, horses. And I, I just, I love this time of year. It, and the Kentucky Derby is, it's more of an event now than it is. It, it's a great horse race, but like there's so many horses in there. There's so many trainers. There's so much going on. It's really hard to pick. Uh, Kissy Cat says she could make you a gorgeous hat. <laughs> I'll guarantee you she could. I know it. <laughs> A very Kentucky cool. Derby hat. For sure. Um, PJ said, come up to Charlestown. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to, uh, we're going to come up. We we're thinking about coming up Saturday uh, for the day. Cause it's our Tina and I's anniversary, but then uh, there's a off track betting here uh, in Roanoke that we're going to go on Saturday, make our bets. So for the Kentucky Derby for the day. Kentucky Derby yeah. day. Yeah. That Saturday. is May the 7th. In case you don't know it's so it's not this Saturday, but it's next yeah. Saturday. So it's the seventh, right? Yes. And Thank she, you. she is right. I heard the people that party in the middle of the Derby. Yes. That, that <laughs> I think it's kind of tamed down a little bit, but in the seventies, that was like, Woodstock for a couple of hours. <laughs> it was pretty crazy in there. I've seen some things uh, on TV that they they're and heard stories. And Kia Bell said she loves the hats they wear. One day she'll yeah. make it there for her birthday. I know that would, <laughs> that'd be good. I, that is a dream to make it to the Kentucky Derby. Mm -hmm. My mother was born in Kentucky, and uh, my dad grew up in West Virginia, right on the tug river and right across the tug river was kentucky and so he grew up loving horses i've grown up loving horses i rarely miss a kentucky derby race i try to be there that i have missed a few in the last year or two but um it's good to be back and last year we were actually in vegas and watched it on the big screen there at the MGM. Mm -hmm. Remember? Mm -hmm. That's right. That's um, right. And I won some money, but I can't remember. Yeah. Um, oh, it was uh, Medina Spirit that won. And I think I had her to show or play. So I got some money on that. And then I had a couple other uh, picks. So we won about <laughs> 30 bucks. I, don't, I can't remember how much I bet, but we got back about 30 bucks. Yeah, wasn't too much. Does anyone in the state of Kentucky know how to play football? <laughs> no, not really. Kentucky football Kentucky is not that great. Right? Texas, <laughs> or where the Texas they do. Uh, so does anyone in this state? <laughs> Her state, I'm a. Yeah, it says Kansas. every pick is from the SEC. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm sure. So here we are with Blanton's. Now, it's got the little racehorse on there. Isn't that cool? Yep. And each racehorse is different. 
the rider's in a different pose. Hey, Gambling Granny, thank you for coming in. You can in. see that. It's pretty cool. And you can see right down here on the bottom, right there, you'll see a letter. I don't, I'm going to try to get it to focus. Uh, I don't know if it will. It's going to be hard. But anyway, there's a little... Yeah, it's there. There's a little... L on the on the very corner right here. That's L. So if you get all the different ones, it'll say you can spell out Blanton's on the top. So people go do that's why people buy that. Now huh. used to be Blanton's was when they first started making this, they would ship it to um Japan. So you couldn't even get it in America. It's kind of like Four Roses, which Four Roses we talked about, that used to be in Japan. Uh, but they brought it back here. And for a long time, I mean, it'd be like, it was, it was called the first single barrel. If you see that little tag right here, it says the first single barrel. And you know me, if you've watched my videos, I love single barrel whiskeys. So this was the first original single barrel. Uh, it used to be, it would sell for like, 25 bucks. But over the years, it's grown. The, these have been so hard to find that now the popularity is growing and everybody wants to get a Blanton's bottle of Blanton's. That's all you mm -hmm. hear people talking about. Like it's the greatest whiskey. And and I've tried it. I haven't tried this bottle. And it is good. Kia Bell says that almost looks like a barrel. Yeah, it does. <laughs> exactly. Like it's a single barrel. That's a really pretty bottle. And uh, it's it's a made by the Buffalo Trace Distillery, so that is that's cool. And look at this, how you open it. You just pull these little tags. Now that's pretty cool, and it's got a wax bottle. So we're gonna we're just gonna pull this if I can, if I got the strength in my fingers. There we go. Wow, that came out cool. So. That comes off as a little wax thing. Yeah. So is it the L on the? It's right here on the bottom of the, so on the ground. PJ was saying he's guessing those would be collector's items then, I guess. Could be because they'll sell, yeah. Different letters for. Yeah. It to, says Blanton's. To spell Blanton's. Yeah. 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 So a lot of people do collect those just for that reason. Uh, these, these bottles were going for $120, but now thankfully they've come down a little bit. I bought this in Tennessee for 65. So, yep, it's a cool bottle, I think. So Neil says he likes the bottle and I do too. <laughs> and, uh. He says, too hot in the summer. I hate the 115 degree heat. What's he talking about? It is hot. Now, uh, is that in Texas or what? And Granny and Dice, are they in here? Mm -hmm. Very Gambling good. Granny is, yeah. There, Gambling Granny. Who else? Have we, have we missed anybody? I think we've said hi to everybody. Okay. Well, we if don't we, want to miss anybody because we, we love you all. you, please let us know. So let's... Uh, Let's open this thing and see if we can hear a little, a good little cork. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mmm. That cork smells good. Very nice. That cork smells good. Uh -oh. Man, that, that is, uh, you know what? It's, a, it's really caramely mm. and sweet as soon as I you can really smell that on there. <laughs> uh, open the bottle. So let's try this. I was leaving that up there. Yeah. <laughs> it makes it kind of blurry for us because it can't. I'm going to just on. enjoy this tonight. Nice little pour. I've never tried it. You've never tried it, right? Yeah. I had a pour a couple of times. Hmm. I've never tried it. But we're going to give it a swirl. It just opened up the bottle, so you gotta let it. Air oh, Kissy Cat bit. said a set of those eight stoppers goes for a hundred dollars on eBay. Oh wow! 
Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Look that up on eBay. <laughs> you could sell them and almost and buy you two blank bottles of Blanton. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, um, oh yeah. So when I first opened the bottle, I was just I mostly I just smelled the caramel and the vanilla, but now I smell the oakiness. It's ninety four proof, <laughs> so it's not going to be overbearing. Mm -mm -mm. So that smells good. It smells really just sweet, and smooth to me. Wow, that is a that is a very good whiskey. So very good. I mean, at sixty five, that's a that's a good price. That's but good. be beware because it's not a hundred dollar bottle of whiskey. <clears throat> but it is definitely $65. It's a good, good whiskey. And it's rare around here. You can't get it. Yeah. Mm. Very nice finish. Uh, like I said, it's 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 a Buffalo Trace whiskey. Um, good. It is not, I mean, to me, it's not as good as Eagle Rare. But it's very good. Yeah. I'm going to give it's this really a good. score of an, an 85. It's an 85. So that's a pretty good score. It's not the best, but that's pretty darn good. 85. It's a good whiskey. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to say for me... It's like an 89. Y'all notice Tina always grades them higher than I do. Mm -hmm. She's so nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're, old, you're more of a whiskey snob <laughs> than me. <laughs> well, I did give the the single barrel Old Forester a 92. That's probably one of the highest scores I've given. Kissy cat. Um, so so it's a winter drink. Are y'all ready you to up? talk about the Kentucky Derby a little bit? Who who do you think? Um, what I did try to I tried to narrow it down to ten horses. Ten. Okay. So get your pen and paper out. These are Walt's top ten. Kissy Cat says she thinks the distillery owners are listening. Yeah, we got <laughs> no chance of that. She don't want to upset anybody. In that case, let me give this uh, <laughs> a C. 99. Oh, God. <laughs> I wish. And PJ says, uh, am I going live from the bur I'm not going to go live from there, but PJ, if you want, that would be awesome if you did that. I'm just going to make a video. So. That would be cool. That'll be fun. That that trip's gonna be fun. June the June fourth, I believe. Yeah. And there's Scott. Hey Scott. Hey Good Scott. To see you. Thanks for coming in. We are trying Blanton's. Blanton's. And it's really good. Yes. We're just sipping on this tonight, mm. and Walt's gonna give you his Kentucky Derby picks. Yeah. <laughs> so. We are too, PJ. Let me give you. All right. Number first one that's on the list. Not saying he's the number one, it's but I will but I will put him in a trifecta. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is give you the 10, <clears throat> and the, the number one is Messier. M-E-S-S-I-E-R. I'll just type that on here so y'all can see it. <laughs> He has uh, he has looked good, um, and he's been he's had three races uh, with the speed rating of a hundred. Now horses have speed ratings after the race; they rate to see the speed of the horse. And if you get in the nineties, 
uh, then that's pretty fast. You get up above the 90s and the 100s, then you, you're you a pretty fast horse or you ran really fast on that race, so you had potential. It usually takes anywhere from like 103 to 107 to win the Kentucky Derby. Uh, so, and Messier, has he's won three races at 100, 104, and 108. So that means he's got some speed. And he'll probably be right out. So if you're watching the Kentucky Derby, he'll be in the top three horses, if not the first one, as soon as they break. So, of course, all this could change. If Messier, with 20 horses, you know, they, they rate him by post. So they'll have, like, post position one through 20. If Messier is four through 10, he's in pretty good shape. But if he's at 11, 12, 13 on up to 20, then that's going to be trouble. DeBears said he just got his uh, wife a bottle of Four Roses. Ooh, who did? Yeah. DeBears. Uh -huh. Nice, nice. And Kissy Cat said, why is there never a white derby horse? There is. <laughs> I think one of the front runners was a, a white horse not too long ago, but there is a horse right now called White Abario. Mm -hmm. and he is on the list. He's going to get, like, I think, let me look at my sheet here. I think he, uh, I've been taking notes. Uh, he's going to probably come off, like, 10 to 1. That's a good bet if you want to bet on a white horse just because he's white mm -hmm. and 10 to 1, if he wins and on $2 bet, you're going to get $20. Yeah, which uh, is. And a lot good. of people Long like shot, him because but... he won the, uh, he won one of the races. I can't remember, uh, leading up to the Derby. And then but, Kino uh, Kid said bet on the gray horse. Bet on the gray horse. And that's true. But And I'm going to talk about that. Uh -huh. There's a couple crazy, crazy gray that's horses. My favorite one. <laughs> But but White Abario's like ten to one. He's not a good bet, not a bad bet. But he's had a all his races have been in the nineties, ninety six, ninety one, ninety one, ninety seven, ninety six. And can he break that and go any faster? I don't know. Twenty horses in the field. I don't know. So we'll see. And and uh, let's see. Bet the gray horse. So. There, <laughs> there's speaking of that, this is not the uh, there's two horses that really are not in the top 10. What's He's that? Kino kids trying to be the teacher's pet tonight. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Now, these two horses, Barber, that's misspelled Barber. It's B A R B E R. Road. I love this horse. <laughs> these two horses are going to come off like 20, 30 to 1, something like that. I mean, I think Charge, well, Charge it right now is 20 to 1. He was like 13 to 1. Now he's like 20 to 1. Uh, Barber Road. I don't know what his odds are. Let's see if I got it written down. But he's kind of going to be 20 or 30 to, to 1. But I'm going to tell you, both of them are like young and just green. But they can, they're good. I mean, they Barber Road's had a little bit more experience. But they both have personality. They oh are my gosh. crazy. Charge it's only had three races. So that's a lot of people, but he's big. Charge it is big. Mm -hmm. Two big old grays. Barber Road's completely crazy. If you watch the videos, video, he's, he's like a ham. He's got like, the best personality. Yeah. It is crazy. There's Kino so. Candy. Hello, Kino Hi. Candy. Candy, how are you? Yeah. Good to see you again tonight. So, and there's. Uh, California girl. So you can mark those two grays as long shots. So they're worth a bet. I mean, actually, I, 
if I do a trifecta, I'm going to put Barber Road in one of them and maybe charge it another. I'll probably bet 50, 60 bucks or more. Hi, maybe Cali more. girl. <clears throat> Might be a good, and that's a, a PJ's right. It could be a, a good bet to show. Either one of them. They might win, but it'd be a good bet to show because they, you just never know. All right. So we had Messier was number one. We talked about White of Barrio a little bit. Neither one of those are my tops, but here's the horse that is rated that I think can win. I'll put him up here. Zandon. Zandon. Zandon, Zandon, I call him Zandon, but that's a horse. He's about six to one. He's tough. He's got speed. His last race, he ran, ran a 103. He just seems like he's ready to go. He's not Kat been over raced either. What your trifecta is. I'm going to give you my trifecta as soon as I get through all these horses that's a good question remind me if i i won't forget i don't think <clears throat> uh, so the next horse on the list is one that uh is taba i'll show you this right here taba has only raced twice two races he ran a hundred in one and then 111 that was his speed so he's got the highest speed of any horse coming but he's only raced two races and remember i mentioned earlier 1883 mm -hmm. it's been since 1883 since a horse with only two starts has won the kentucky derby Ooh. and so that's and then you put on top of that that he worked out today and they the people were not happy it did not look good mm. and i had him you know as one of the favorites i mean he's he's actually six to one right now so he is a favorite and you're gonna be um speaking of workouts and you've been watching Cali, some of cow forces tape i'd give 100 to one <laughs> does that mean she does think that means she doesn't have a chance right <laughs> he doesn't have a chance but wouldn't that be cool to bet that and then have a win <laughs> yeah if he goes off a, but a lot of people are speculating that he worked out so poorly that maybe he's just not ready for the race and they may hold him back because he's only had two races yeah. maybe hold him back for the preakness we don't know uh so the next one is and thanks for coming in cali calif girl she came in last week. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Good to see her again. And then uh, we got Smile Happy. You know what? My Your drink is mm. done. It's I think I'm going to let you guys. Very good, Sipper. What would y'all like me to try next? Because I'm open. Not really open up another bottle, but should we do Rare Breed? Or four roses, yeah. or John J. Bowman. Which one? Which one should I try? I've tried them before, but which one should be my next one to drink? What is she going to name it? She's naming it. What are you naming Ralphie's it? Ralphie's Head. If I ever buy a horse, she's naming it Ralphie's Head. <laughs> Why Ralphie's Head? Kissy All right, cat. so we got four roses. We got a Ralphie's Head. A four roses vote. We got Rary. First one to get three votes wins. Of course, we've only got like seven people in here. We had ten. <laughs> Everybody's watching the NFL draft, and yeah. I, I don't really care. So, uh, so rare breed, four roses. Uh, that's the only two votes we got. Sopranos. I don't have <laughs> Ralphie's head. 
Sopranos. <laughs> Somebody's got to oh. break this tie. Bowman. So oh, we've we got gotta, one, one, and one. Yeah, we got a Bowman. So somebody's got to break this tie. Four Roses, Rare Breed, Sopranos, which I, it's not a whiskey, but I think maybe a horse, uh, a, a horse's name. And Bowman. And I need somebody to break this tie <clears throat> of which one of these is. <laughs> NFL draft is high life <laughs> price losers. Uh, <clears throat> Rare breed mixes with the horse chat. Yeah, that's true. Oh, good so, point. Kissy good cat. point. She, she's she got, Very but you already voted on Rare Breed. Somebody's got to break the tie between those three. If anybody else here. Uber DC. Uber DC. Ah, you're cheating. <laughs> you, that's PJ. That's PJ. <laughs> He's cheating. <laughs> That's G. Good one. Good one, PJ. <laughs> nice drive. We got to discount. We, gotta, we just got to ignore that. Uh, well, I don't know what we're going to do here. Two more votes. Just one more vote is all we need. Uh, until I get that vote, let's talk about Smile Happy, which I was talking about. Smile Happy is 12 to 1. Two channels, two votes. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, thanks for coming in. Give me another watcher. Uh, <laughs> Smile Happy's 12 to 1 and would be a good bet uh, because he can. Uh, he's had a race of uh, the last three races, 98, 95, 101. I kind of like him. Uh, just because PJD golfers is it another channel of his, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you're you're not being very discreet, oh, PJ. Oh. <laughs> I like what Cal Gore said. She goes, Four Roses, a ladies' man whiskey." So maybe I'll just go with that <laughs> over PJ cheating over here. We're going to listen to this. PJ wants oh, that was, John Jay. That was kind of weak. Let's take He's these trying more. to vote. <laughs> I have to give him If credit. I do another sip of something, I'll do John Jay Bowman. How about that? PJ, he's not letting Ooh. your multi-channels count. This is not your normal Four Roses. This is a single barrel, which I like. I'm not a big fan of the regular single barrels, but this... Wife. This four roses is really good, and since this is good for road, they're running for the roses at the Kentucky Derby, so that is kind of fitting. Put that on, yep. There. Run for the roses, yeah. Right here, thank you guys for coming in. Uh, I know PJ, but the John J. Bowman is very good, actually. It is for, and it's a single barrel, yeah. We do like that. Too. This is a single barrel John J. Bone. That stuff is very good. Very good. A run for the roses. So, I'm so still we've gotten blames, down to... Guys. All right, next yeah, one is the horse that, that uh, is going to be the front runner. This, everybody thinks he's going he's gonna to have the lowest odds, probably four to one. What team? Callie girl says, ooh, that pop. She liked that on mm -hmm. the four roses. Mm -hmm. So Epicenter's everybody's favorite. It's uh the last two races with the 98 speed rating and 101. So it's experienced. It's gonna be out in the front. Let's just say this. I'll I'll go on a limb and say this. If if it's like from post position pick of five to like eight then i will bet it to win so so this cats. will depend on post positions, post positions for a lot of these yes picks. especially the horses that want to be out in front yeah yep and <laughs> kiss kiss it reminds her of epcot is the mom is cat having wine tonight hey sometimes it is just a wine night I'm gonna vote, and I would probably agree with that. Bet on this horse just because the name. 
It's a cool name. But Tis the Bomb. Here's the problem with Tis the Bomb. It did run a race of a 109. That means it's very, very fast. But the race before that, it did a 70. Race before that, it was a 98 and a 105. So if you throw out that 70, this could be the front runner. But I think the odds for Tis the Bomb is right now 20 to 1. There's another great long shot. Put that with Barber Road and charge it. 20 to 1, Tis the Bomb. I think that's a good pick. So that might be a horse to put in with the trifecta. California girl. Or mm. Kissy Cat says she always bets to place in um, mm. California yeah. girl <laughs> agrees and PJ oh, win place show. You never know. She totally agrees. So cool. Mm -hmm. Tis the Bomb could be the bomb. Could blow this derby up. I know. That's cool. You just that's one thing you I mean, yeah. A lot of them pick their their favorite like epicenter, but sometimes there's a few surprises. Yeah. We just never know. I'm almost finished with the 10. I've given you 10. So you uh Mo Donegal is a horse that has run a 111, which is as fast as Tabor ran. Uh, but prior to that was a 92, 93, 91, and an 82. And <clears throat> with, if there's a horse, you ha now you have to go back probably 25 years since a horse has come from the back all the way to win the Kentucky Derby. It's been a long time, 20 years probably. Uh, could Mo Donegal do that? Maybe, but with a field of 20 horses, that's a lot of horses you have to pass. So that's my only drawback. But the current odds on Mo Donegal's eight to one. People think he can do it. And I think the reason they think they can do it because there's no real great speed up front. So PJ says he bets win place show. Eh, that's good. You got them all covered. If they win, you get three. You get all three. Yep. Okay. The only horse left, is, and I'm not gonna put his name, but it's Cyber Knife. I had him in the top top ten, but he's now twenty two to one. He's had some really good races, but he's never run higher than a ninety four. But a lot of people are betting him. I don't know if Cyberknife can win or not. I don't know. So if I was going to bet my trifecta right now, and, and this is not knowing any uh, post positions. Hey, Tamara and Gord, hey, if you're good. in here too, Gord. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. You know, there's, I need to, I can't try this, but I'm, since they're here, I want them to, to look at this. Remember when we bought this? Oh yeah. This is the we gold have bar not whiskey. Tried that yet? <laughs> I don't even know if I want to open it. I know. <laughs> I bought this with Gord. Showed me this in the store, and I'm like, man, that's cool. I gotta buy that. That's a gold bar. It's got a gold bar right there. To me, it's worth thousands of dollars. Not really, but it does look like it. Doesn't it? That's so okay. cool. And uh, I don't even know if I should drink that ever. <laughs> it's such a cool bottle. It's so hard to open some of these cool bottles. Yeah. <laughs> and that is a cool bottle. That was a fun day with Tamara and Gord as we went They to haven't eat. opened their little one either. Their yeah. little gold bar. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just saving that. Not sure for what, but I just I just think it's so cool. Kissy Cat said, wait till New Year's. Okay, I'm gonna write down my trifecta.
Now, I would, if I'm going to do this, I would box, I would put these in a, a trifecta box. And this is what I, what I mean is that I would take these three horses and I'd say, uh, I want a $1 trifecta box, which would cost me $6 to put all three of these horses in. It doesn't matter what order. Modonical could win, Epicenter second, Xanon. doesn't matter. Xanon could win, Epicenter could be third. As long as those come in the first three, you would win the trifecta. So you just say a $1 trifecta box. And that's that's what I would do. Now, that's the first one. I'll, I'll probably do several of those, mixing the horses around, and maybe do a trifecta. You can do a 50-cent superfecta, which you pick four horses. And if you say, I want a 50 Sent super effect the box that'll probably cost you about twelve dollars or something like that, maybe twenty four. But uh, that'll put you if those four horses come in in any order, uh, then you win. So I like betting trifectas. And one time at Charlestown, I won seven hundred sixty dollars off a of trifecta. Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. Zan and Epicenter Modonagal That's come fine. in, eh, it's probably not going to win. Seven hundred dollars because they're both they're all pretty low, you know, like odds are four to one, six to one, eight to one. So you know, it's hard to tell what the that would payout would be. And Calif girl says she'd save that. I guess she's talking about the gold bar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Save that for a special occasion. And Kia Bell says she's going with smile happy, <laughs> smile happy. I like that. I'm like you, Kia Bell, and um, I think Kissy Cat and Kino said it earlier. So I like names and mm -hmm. colors of horses, but also what we talked about a little bit earlier that uh, Bar uh, is it Barber? Barber Road, yeah. Barber Road. Just personality. His personality. I just watched a video on him and while they were interviewing the trainer, I mm -hmm. think. Um, and so he was, of course, there beside the horse in the stall. And it, it was a long interview. So the horse was doing all kinds of things when, <laughs> when they were interviewing him. And he was just hilarious. It was like you were watching mm -hmm. a comedy show. Anyway. Yeah. So. And he, like, if you'll see him, he's so young, Barbara Road. Like he'll be going down the track, and he'll just like veer, yeah. Like he, like he's gonna run off up into the stands. You don't know. I it's mean, like, the jockey's got his hands full. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Ed, yeah, it was basically. You could probably it's, Google. It is Mr. You could probably Google that yeah. interview. If, find it on YouTube. Go or check whatever. out Barbara Road. You, I, he'll probably get a lot of bets just because. Just because of that, he's crazy. <laughs> And you, if you look at Barber Road, they'll they'll show all of his races and all that kind of stuff. Um, so anyway, that's uh, that's the Derby special. So anybody else uh, have any questions for us? I'll ask you questions. Uh, PJ, where did you stay? I think you were you at the Aria the whole time in Vegas. He was, um... Four Roses is good. That's an eighty two. Very good. Very I'm still sipping on my blantons, which I'm just trying to enjoy it a quinella <laughs> is that a pick four kiss is oh quinella is a two no what's a quinella isn't that like it's probably a, a, an exacta i forget what that is is it five i don't know oh see is that aria four nights pj was an mgm two nights two nights I thought Quinella was like between a couple races or something. I don't know. Pick four. Okay. Kia Bell says it's a pick four. 
It's four. Yeah, Cornell says first two places. Yeah. Yeah, Cornell is uh, two. I always call them an exact box oh, or something. But uh, but the superfecta is a uh, pick four. So if I was going to add, I would add. I would pick those same three and add Messier. If I was going to do a pick four, or here's a here's a really good bet too. There's a good, that one, if that came, you probably win big. You would win some money on that if it came like that, those four right there. Messier, Zandon, Barbara Road, and Tiz the Bomb. So you, you got two that are going to come off 12, 20 to one or more. And, I mean, that, that could happen. <laughs> Tiz the Bomb, kiss the <laughs> I know, but another cool name. And then, so the the post positions will come out on Monday or Tuesday. So then we will know more. So Thursday, when we come back, I'll I'll tell you really break it down like what I'm going to vote. I'll just tell you probably not vote what I'll bet wager, and uh, we'll see what happens. So, and we've got to make those uh, mint juleps. And we'll be making mint juleps. And uh, we'll be. That'll be fun. We've not yeah. done that on mm -hmm. <laughs> a while. Yeah. So. Yeah. We will be no professionals like PJ's no. cocktails. No. Or anything like that. <laughs> she goes to the West Coast. You're going to go to the Santa What's it, Santa Anita racetrack? All right, I said I would try this good Virginia whiskey. He is going to have her hat. <laughs> I want to hear this Calif girl still here because I want to hear her fix. Oh. He's trying it, PJ. He's doing the John Jay for you. John Jay Bowman. San Diego. Mm-hmm. Kibo says San Diego. All right. Sam Houston raised yeah, track, cool. his cat says. I want to hear your all's picks. I might just bet on everybody's picks. Give me your top two if you've heard of any. I only talked about probably 12 horses. Okay. Calif girl, tell me your, if you're going to bet the top three, who are they? I'd love to hear the top three from everybody. See what y'all say. <laughs> oh, uh, Tamara wants to know what's the most you've won on a horse betting. Yeah, we talked about, I think the most was $760. I did a trifecta up in Charlestown on a $6 mm -hmm. bet. And I won because I did a $1 trifecta box, picked three horses. And I uh, so what you do is you pick three horses that you think can come in first, second, mm -hmm. third, but you don't know what order. You just go up to the thing yeah. and say, Give, I want a $1 trifecta box on these three horses. You tell them. You have to tell them the numbers. And I did that and got $760. And Calf Girl says she's going for Zandon. All right. <laughs> PJ said he has no idea. He's watching you for information. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well go play, place a bet. So I've been watching a lot of stuff, but. I, I'll tell you this right now, and I'm not, I, I would, I would say the last 25 years, 
I bet I've picked the winner of the Kentucky Derby, Derby 20 times. Easily 20 times. Kia Bell has her picks. All right, let's Show see those. What. So Zandon here, we got Kia Bell says, smile happy, tis the bomb, Barbara. If it, if I you like go this. bet that and, you, and that comes in, girl, you're going to cash in about $3,000. <laughs> That would be, and I'm not so saying it's exciting. not going to happen, but it it could. I, could, I, I mean, know. you just never know, especially this year. Usually, going into the the Derby, there's like one really like clear favorite or two or three clear favorites. This year, it's been really hard. I mean, I a lot of people want to get on the epicenter, but he's not the perfect horse. He may come out and be the champ. He's going to be up front early, so we'll find out. Messier is going to be up front early, so you'll see them too. Um, and Casey Set says, you're the pro. No, I'm no pro. <laughs> I just do it for fun, and she says, I'm it's like this. Fun, yeah. I just think it's fun. I love to bet. Uh, he said, when we are – we were at Charleston. I boxed the number two favorite and won money. Yeah, he did. I oh, yes. That. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Sure yep, did. That was a good job. I forgot we even bet that day. Mm -hmm. We did. Kentucky Derby. Several is, ones. I think it's uh, five o'clock. It starts on the May the 7th, Saturday, May the 7th. Yep. So. And there's, well, I'm sure everybody's watched it before, but. There's so much hype and lead up to it. Like, it's so exciting. And then, like, it's the most exciting two minutes and mm -hmm. then it's over. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, my God, who's going to win? But Yeah, last year was cool because we were at the MGM. Yeah. And they had it on the big screen. And somehow we managed to get a seat yeah. in the the this circle bar, which yeah. had the screens. In it. We, I don't know how we did it. Mm -mm. But we got that seat and we had our drinks and we just sat there and watched that race and then cashed in. It took forever to cash in our ticket. I know because everybody was in line after that. <laughs> yeah, we were all a little tipsy that <laughs> evening. <laughs> yeah, <Jay>. we were. <laughs> so, Cali girl. Yeah. Uh, so, I still need everybody else's. Did Kissy Cat pick a winner? Did she already say? Oh, she said, who did she say? <clears throat> was it she said Zandon? No, that was um Cal girl. Mm -hmm. No, Kissy Cat, she's not saying. She's holding back. It's holding back. It's <laughs> keeping down their secrets. Keeping it a secret. So how long can you keep a ticket? Like if you win. Uh, probably 30 days maybe yeah, i don't know it just depends on the place probably yeah uh, depends on the mm -hmm. oh place that you okay got. look at here pj has says messier barber road and epicenter i like barber road. that's a good <laughs> that's a good pick right there tamara says they have no idea they'll just pick the coolest name <laughs> that's the, that's who usually wins. You pick the cool man. I like that horse. <laughs> Excuse me. Second pick for Calf Girl. Um, Tis the bomb. Tis the okay, bomb. she's doing her studying here. There's a lot of people like Tis the bomb. Kissy uh, <laughs> Cat's going with Kia. She likes smiley faces from the 70s. <laughs> Incidentally, that's perfect. Uh, I could get, I'm going to give a, a prize to anybody uh, that can tell me. You only got like, I'm only going to give you five seconds to answer this, and I'm going to count out to five seconds. Hey, Slot Gypsy Travel. Um, Is that Jackie? Or does the first person that answers this, who, what horse holds the record for the fastest Kentucky Derby?
Leanne. Hi, Leanne. Where's Leanne? Slot Gypsies travel. Hey, Leanne. Slot Gypsies. Thanks for coming in. PJ1, Secretariat. CJ, I'm a PJ. I'm a. I don't. Do you already have a Frontiersman t shirt? Oh, guys, hey, since I'm here, I'm going to stand up and show you this. Y'all have seen it. This is my seen it. Bourbon Voyage t shirt. And you can get the, uh, <laughs> you can order this at in the link below into the AM. And I'm, I'm going to tell you what, these are the most comfortable t-shirts like some of my frontiersman t-shirts are pretty comfortable too especially the one like kissy cat i had on the other day but uh this material is so nice and it they don't shrink it's really good uh kiss cat needs 20 seconds but <laughs> but so it was I do too because i can't i always type on my phone on my screen it was uh secretariat and then calif girl said secretariat right behind that so uh we could send her uh her something too she'll have to if you if you email me your here's my email address if you email me your mailing address i will Send you out a t-shirt and your size. PJ, I'll just bring you yours. <laughs> so, yeah, extra large. Mm -hmm. I, and I think I do have an extra large on hand. So that's cool. If not, I'll order one. So that's cool. Uh, Kissy Cat says very soft. Those t-shirts. They are good you know, material. The t-shirts that I first got, I got from West Virginia. Mm -hmm. at a store in Huntington and those t-shirts were the best and I not, I need to get back up there well those, I could probably do it online. And those are the gray ones that yeah she's they were they about. were the light gray yep. ones they were cool so mm -hmm. thank thank you Kia so they're <laughs> cool they are nice t-shirts but these these are nice too and I just love the graphics on there so mm -hmm. and so I'm an affiliate with them. So if you want to get a cool shirt, you could do that. Too. They have all kinds of different uh, scenes, like whatever you call that, graphics. Yes, all kinds of different. We things. are honored that you have dropped in. We, uh, Jackie is girl. in Virginia. What part of Virginia do you Who know? Is? Who um, is? Leanne said Jackie is in Virginia ah. right now on business. Cool. Cool. Wonder if she's anywhere close by. And here Bud is has 829. Boo is 829. Love you both. Bud. Definitely enjoy the videos. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for stopping in. Yes, thank you. We tried some Blantons and then Walt tried a few other picks that were voted on. Except oh, not yeah. rare she, breed. That's which what is she's what... up. She's up by uh PJ. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, we enjoyed doing the live stream. I know I talked too much, but I guess what else are you going to do on the live stream? <laughs> I could let Tina talk more. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, we love doing it. I love all, all everybody that came in. I know we didn't have a big crowd tonight, but we're competing with the NFL draft, <laughs> so which I could care less about. Uh, <clears throat> cool. She's so going to go to the uh, uh, the uh, National Harbor yeah, where National PJ Harbor. goes. That's a nice yeah, casino. That's you, or Maryland Live is cool too. And then the other one that's close is the opposite direction, but it's also mm -hmm. close to PJ, is yep. Charlestown where we go a lot. Now, I like this. Your videos have been great. Like, thank you. I put a lot of work into those things. Um, oh, thank you. That means Leanne. a lot. Yeah. It really does. I mean, it uh, really does mean a lot. Tell us a story. Any more feedback about the knocking in the forest? <laughs> well, uh, no, but I just read a cool story that I'll tell you. Oh. And I'll tell you here, but I'm getting ready to go 
this weekend I'm going to do a video about this. So I'll just give you a brief story. Up in Charlestown at the casino, or see, uh, it's near Harper's Ferry, but the, the Shenandoah River runs through there. And <clears throat> there's a three-year-old little girl, Sheila, who was out playing in the yard, uh, not too far from the family because they lived up on the in the mountainside. Uh, and they were, it was ramp season. If y'all, if y'all know what a ramp is, it's like sort of like an onion. And they they'll have ramp festivals in places in West Virginia. They'll come in, they'll pull all the ramps and just have a big, big thing. It's like big time. So they pull all the onions. So people are out there and they the ramps kind of grow wild. Tamara says, is this a scary story? <laughs> <laughs> Would I ever tell a scary story? Okay, you can. You have to do this, Tamara. <laughs> Tamara. <laughs> cracks me up. <laughs> Putting you on mute for a few minutes. <laughs> Tamara, she's Tamara the best. Doesn't, I love doesn't it. love scary stories. <laughs> uh, and this is what Tina does all the time, just puts me on mute. <laughs> so... Anyway, so they're all, the little girl's three years old, and um, the family's picking ramps. The little girl's got the dog with her, you know, because he's hanging around playing with the girl. The parents go around, and they lose sight of her for a few minutes while they're picking the ramps, and they come back look for her. just what it wasn't very long and she was gone now you have to understand there's like there's nobody coming up this road this is like back in the hills of west virginia and i think this was in the 70s or 80s i'll get the story right when i get the time right so so she goes missing so the dad starts looking everywhere for her uh, they didn't have cell phones, so they, they couldn't run in. They, they, I don't even know if they had telephone, so they would have had to drive somewhere to get uh, somebody to come help him. But he did. One of the neighbors came by. His brother was a neighbor. The brother came by, and they looked and looked. Finally, they went to a neighbor's house, <laughs> called the police to come in. The police came in and they started searching. So they searched for hours and hours. They brought in the hounds. Well, the hounds led to the river. And then they stopped. They brought a different hound in a couple of days later. Because they never did, they didn't see the girl. And the hound went to the river. They stopped. So that after a few days, they thought she must have gone into the river and drowned. Well, the searchers even searched on the other side of the river just to make sure she didn't make it through or whatever. And they searched pretty thoroughly. Well, then a few days go by, they find her about three or four days later. She was laying beside of a tree. She was, wasn't was saying a word, like totally in shock. She had scratches on her face. And they brought her up. They All the parents said this for days. She would just, she wouldn't say anything. She was quiet, obviously probably in shock. And then she would just start crying. And that was the story. So she's alive today, I guess, if she's still living. But uh, that was that was weird. So the, the the weird thing is, if you've ever seen the Shenandoah River, I mean, I guess you could cross it in some places, but a three year old girl's not going to cross it. And also. Before she got to the river, she would have had to gone up a hill. And it's very, you know, most uh, 
three-year-olds are not going to climb hills. They're just not going to do it. And they're not going to go away from too far away from home. But anyway, she got, went up the hill, crossed the river, you know, something or someone had to have carried her. Yes, you are correct, Kissy Cat. Yes. That. Yes. Those are some pretty mm -hmm. amazing stories. If you've ever yeah. read or read anything yeah. from him or, or, yeah. or and this, watched it. And this was, this story was in one of his books, uh, Missing 411. Uh because it nobody knows the reason why to this day she went. Luckily, she they found her, but that that's a weird story. So there you go, kids, cat. There's your story, and I am going to do a video about it so to tell the whole story. So y'all stay tuned. Somebody for that. tell Tamara she can unmute now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of people missing in the national parks. So it's yes. pretty pretty crazy. Yep. It's not knowledge to public knowledge because you know that's big tourism especially like in smoky mountains people go missing all the time mm -hmm. so uh they don't like to report it for mm -hmm. that reason i think they think it's going to do something to the tourism or whatever so they try to keep it on the down low as much as possible yeah and pj's right it's all hills in west virginia <laughs> You're not going to go very far without seeing a hill. Bye, Leanne. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Yep. Goodbye. I did talk about White Abario, PJ, and, mm -hmm. and uh, so that's I'm glad you brought that back up. He's His odds right now, I think, are pretty good. He's like 9 to 1, 10 to 1 to depending on who you're going with. What I said was that he's pretty consistent. His speed ratings have always been in the 90s. He's never hit 100, but he's had a 96, 91, 91, 97, 96. And uh, we talked about it because a kissy cat was saying white horses don't do well. A lot of people think white a barrio could win this race. I don't know. Yeah. The thing about yep. the Kentucky Derby, like you have, like what you were saying, all of these horses run, have run in smaller races. I don't mm -hmm. think any of them have run in a race with 20 other horses. No. No. So that's what makes it so interesting. And yeah. sometimes you don't know who's going to. Yeah. That's why, out of that. and this is why, that's why Epicenter, who's had uh, six races, six bigger races, Messier's had six bigger races with more horses in it. Zandon has had four races, just, but he's like, just so tough. Like, so I, I don't know. No, no ghost this time. Well, hey, Destiny. Bud, but no. How are you, friend? Oh, it's destined for Vegas. Thank Destiny, you for hey. In. Walt, when your friends told you not to climb that rock uh, and you went, it reminded me of Travis when he went and got abducted. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, the thing was, there were, I wasn't a great climber. My brother, Bruce, is a great climber. And my cousin, B.W., he's like a distant cousin, but he's sort of my cousin. Those two were really good climbers. So they went up, and I was like, I'm going to go with this. But it was just people that we didn't know that were hollering in the parking lot. They thought we were like, you're going to fall. Get down. Those people were <laughs> making me more nervous than anybody anybody else. So, yeah. that And she's talking about the video uh, when we drove through Route 52 in West Virginia. And it says, what about the horse from Japan? Um, yeah. That, is that Un, what's his name? Uno Oho could win. I just, I don't know. I mean, it's, we had a breeder's cup winner from Japan, same uh, 
farm that this that the Japanese horse came from. So that horse could be good, but uh, you know, it's funny. Out of most of the Kentucky Derby winners, probably eighty percent come from Kentucky. It's just what it is. So there's been a few yeah. from the from the Middle East. I don't know if a Japanese horse has ever won. There's been a few from California <laughs> that's won. Not sure if anybody from Florida has ever won. Might have been. Oh, yeah, Crown Pride. That's the one. Yep. Crown Pride is uh, is getting a lot of attention. Yep, you're right, PJ. It's Crown Pride. And it's – but right now it's 33 to 1. Hey, go put two bucks on it. I know. That's a good yeah, – that good. might be a good mm -hmm. bet. And Destiny says, hey, PJ, love watching your videos. Yeah, the lives were good, and I, I got to catch up on Yeah, we definitely got to catch so. up on videos, man. Yeah, there's some beautiful horse farms. <clears throat> well, the, the greatest Virginia horse ever was Secretariat. He's from Virginia. So and that's probably the greatest horse ever. Yeah. So I love that horse. <laughs> but we're going to... We're going to end this, guys, unless you have any more questions about horses or anything like that. And remember, when are we doing it? Next, Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to make uh, mint juleps some and celebrate getting ready for the Derby, mm -hmm. for the Kentucky Derby. And as anybody, if any of y'all know, which you all do now, mm -hmm. um, that is a signature drink for the Kentucky Derby. So we're going to actually make us a couple. Mm -hmm. And so. we got one that's, uh, we're going to make some, but look, we got this one. We've got Old Forester Mint Julep. Yeah, I picked that out. We're going to make one fresh, but this is one we bought. Uh, Bill Coleman actually helped us purchase this Yeah, by donating. It's one of but this kids. is Old Forester Mint Julep. All we have to do on this is pour it over ice. Got to garnish it with some mint, but then we're going to actually make some too. Yeah. So that'll be cool. All right. Crown Royal Crown. Yeah. What did you? That's because I said I keep watching hoof relief for cattle in pain. Oh, <laughs> I've watched one of those too. Like I watched a burrow that had like a big clock on his Aww. foot. And I was watching that. It was sad. A thousand dollars a cocktail they have for charity. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, Bill. Bill's been very nice. Yeah. Yeah. That was so well, kind to him. Thank you guys for coming in. I know we didn't have a big crowd, but that's okay. The ones that came in, we love you. Yeah. And, and we were able to chat. And we just couldn't everybody. compete with the NFL. Large, her father-in-law used to be a large animal oh, vet. That's very, very cool. cool. Yes. Very intriguing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is neat. Yeah. All right, guys. We will let you go. Mm -hmm. Y'all have a great evening. Thank you. Thanks have a great everybody evening for coming and a great in. weekend. Stay tuned for videos coming up and next Thursday for the Yep. Got probably have one or cocktails. two videos coming up pretty soon so thank yeah. you guys leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you have the time mm -hmm. and appreciate it we will see you all again soon see you soon bye bye